Today finds us back in the shipping port where all the cargo ships come in from Miami. And this one is the first of two with several very important packages for us. I want to talk is the blue one. This is a very important shipment for us because remember I told you I need to take some downtime for a couple of months before, during, and after the surgeries. But in the meantime, we've had a literal ton of companies contact us about testing and reviewing their products. And they are all stuff related to our lifestyles in sustainable energy and electric life, whether on a boat or on land. So I know a lot of you are going to find some of this stuff very interesting. Of course, this is all very heavy stuff, so it creates a bit of a problem for us because, well, <laughs> we live on a boat. We can't keep it here indefinitely, but certainly long enough to do our tests and reviews. For me, that's going to be a great distraction and a lot of fun. So I hope you'll join me in thanking these companies for all their support in the SSL channel. And today, I'm going to start with one of the products that brought us a lot of enjoyment. What were we thinking? I don't know. What are you, you, you thinking? Well, because they run a business on a sailboat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Some days are better than others. Yeah. Think how many power you can have now. It's good. I'm almost out of power. <laughs> One more. Let's go. Okay. Last one? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, last one. Yeah. Oh, cool. Good training, man. Eh? <laughs> Be careful your back, huh? Mm. Damn. What is that? It's a blue thing. Is that a battery? Yeah, it's one of the batteries. It's a battery. It's mango power. Yeah. New generation of mango power. Mm. Mm. And this one? We're going to have problems. <laughs> okay, I can end. A lot of you have also been asking me about what I recommend as the best battery for an off-grid application. Something reliable and powerful and safe. Because, well, face it, not everybody can afford the Mercedes of batteries. Most of us are looking for like a Toyota or a Chevy, something in the middle that does the same job, but at a price we can afford. And I've been doing my research, and I think we found you guys some good options. But that also is something we're going to say for a next video. Today's video is just for fun. Yep, now that, my friends, that's a big box. And yet another one I've been excitedly anticipating because this is another piece of new tech from another company that's making stuff to change our lives for the better. Now, it's not very often we bring something here that's purely for entertainment, but I hesitate to say this is only for entertainment. It's actually very utilitary purpose as well. And not just for me, for our whole family. 
So if you want to see what it is, stick around because we're going to open this today. Okay, so first view in the box, <laughs> you see a big seat. <laughs> That's a big seat. Yeah, for two people. Okay, we got a wheel, fender, and sprockets. And it looks like this sprocket stain is steel. Cool. Mm, nice. nice color. Now, right up front, I want to let you guys know that this is not a paid advertisement by any stretch. The company sent me this product to do a test and review and that's it. So stick around for the end of the video when I give you my honest review of how we like it. So this is the brand new AdMotor Soltan M66X electric scooter which can seat two people and drive you anywhere you want to go. I must say, out of the box, assembly was easy. It came almost fully pre-built with the whole back end reassembled at the factory. The only thing we had to do was assemble the front tire, the handlebars, the front fender, and the headlight. I made sure all the bolts were tight and then we were pretty much ready for a test run. Okay, hold on. Uh oh, where uh -oh. are you, Ritchie? <laughs> what? Wow. Just about ready for family time. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, buddy, it's even got a platform for Richie to stand on. Yeah, well, it's more big. Yeah. <laughs> where you take more confidence? What do you think, Richie? Cool, hey, buddy. What do you think? Oh, too much stuff to touch. Lots of stuff. Okay, the time has come. First family test <laughs> of our new family cruiser. Let's see if it can handle all three of us or not. We're hoping, but we're gonna find out for sure right now. There she is. Look, Richie. Look, there's Richie's seat. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, he's ready. Wow. Feet through. Oh, it's stuck. Yep. Yep. There you go. Wait, we need to tie him. How cool is that? Yeah, it's right here. Ready? Mm -hmm. wow. Climbs the steps like nothing. Wow. Down and boom. All right. Now is the turn of mama. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Bien. Go. Todo bien, buddy. All right. Tú listo. Listo. Pero pardon. Okay. Pardon. Our first family cruiser. <laughs> How cool is that? That's pretty funny, actually.
think you're going. <laughs> Where are you going? No, you're not let on the road. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you going to do? <laughs> now we go on the beach, we make a swimming, we jump in the water for clean yourself with all the dress. Yeah, he's a tremendous boy. Tremendous boy. Tremendous. Vamos. Para este lado, no para allá. Where is Papa? Where is Papa? Okay. Vamos. Mama. Mama and Mama. Mama and Mama. So, of course, now I think the question on everybody's mind is what do we actually think of the bike? <laughs> well, I'd have to say the thing that we like the best about it so far is just the fact that it can bring all three of us, not one or two, but all three of us to places like this. Because these are the places we like to come and hang out. Nice, hey Richie? Yeah. All on our beach cruiser. And today is a very beautiful day. After a lot of rain, we have a flower, we have a bunch of butterfly. Some boat are running on the water for find some. Um, what is the name? Oh, a conch. Mm. And yes, I reached it, discovered a little bit of the netto. Simple netto, but the most beautiful and simple than the netto. Oh, like yeah. our bike. And it's, it's nice to have simple. a vehicle that helps us get to these places because without it, we'd be renting taxis or something all the time. We used to have a motorcycle. But even that wouldn't let us really come, you know, off-road like this once in a yeah, while. Yeah, if we reach here, really, I don't know, it's a little dangerous. Yeah, I'm not sure how the motorcycle worked with the, would have worked with Richie, but the bike works perfect, especially with the removable seat. <laughs> I found that seat on Amazon and it looked like it would work, so we just bought it as a test and it just happened to work just perfect. Yeah, I think so just now we need to start to looking for a new one. Yeah, he's going to outgrow it really soon. That's the problem. He's getting too heavy for it. But uh -huh. right now it still works, so we're good. But yeah, it's so easy to remove. If you want to take it off, you just turn it sideways, and push the button, and pop the whole seat right off. That way, if you just want to go for a ride just by yourself, or we don't have Richie with us or something, then we just take the seat off and go for a ride. Sometimes we leave the seat on and use it for extra baggage if we're going shopping or something yeah, like that. Yeah, especially Mama. <laughs> I have all my groceries inside the seat and the bucket in front of. Because, yeah, you can see that Ad Motor sent us some new accessories for the bike, and that's what we just installed. So, yeah, one of our favorite accessories was the storage basket they sent us, and it bolts directly to the fork, so it's very sturdy, and got a bungee rope over top of it to hold anything in. They also sent us a pair of these mirrors, which are my favorite, because I love being able to see what's behind me. That makes a huge difference when we're driving. It makes it a lot more safe than trying to look over my shoulder, especially when I got all three of us on board. And you can see I added a custom bracket here for my cell phone so that you can carry the cell phone with you. And it has a charging port right from the computer, so it constantly keeps the phone topped up. Now, of course, Mommy's favorite add-on is this new backrest, and it's very sturdy. It's bolted on underneath the main seat right to the frame, which is great, and gives her support so that she doesn't accidentally fall off if I, you know, hit the throttle too hard. Because a couple of times, yeah, she kind of rides at the back here, and if I take off too fast, boom. <laughs> But this gives a lot of confidence. And it also comes with this attachment that is just like a little portable trunk. Now this, we haven't found too much use for this yet because it's kind of small and upright. So it's not very practical for our applications. It opens with a key like that. And then it has a little pocket inside, but you can see it's not very big. It's not gonna hold a lot. Maybe a lady's purse, that's about it but not much good for carrying luggage or baggage or anything like that. So for when we're shopping, it doesn't really help. Yeah, not like this one. This one helps a lot. So we're thinking of actually taking this one off 
and putting another bracket back here to put a square basket to give more luggage space just for carrying groceries when we go to the store. And of course, the bike is designed as a moped, so for two people, so they've even incorporated rear foot pegs for the passenger, which is awesome, and they're very sturdy, very nice. Now, if there was one key feature I had to say really impressed me with this bike compared to the other ones that I've tested, is the fact that all of the fittings are stainless steel. And <laughs> that is a key feature. That's something, I mean, thumbs up to add order for that because of the first one I've seen that actually used all stainless steel hardware. Because the last one we had, it rusted bad within days, literally of being in the salt air environment. All of the screws and fasteners immediately started to rust, even with the anodized coating. But as you can see, all of these key fittings, everything, everywhere is stainless steel. Stainless steel screws on the platform, stainless steel screws on all the struts and suspension, everything here is all stainless steel. And that's amazing. And the axles, of course, are steel and they've got protective caps on them and Richie likes to show that that's where the cap comes from. So that just goes right on there to protect the nuts. We like things to protect our nuts, don't we, to Richie? And of course, Richie's favorite upgrade is this one right here. I installed a little cup holder. It's kind of reverse, but it works. And you can put a bottle of water, whatever you want in there while we're riding. Perfect. Another game changer with this design is the dual suspension at the back. For carrying two people, this, this ride is so comfortable you can't even imagine, but because of these two back shocks. Oh, Nicolas. look who arrives. <laughs> Nicolas. Sir Danny. Oh, Uncle Danny giving Richie a new shirt. Uh -huh. No, it looks like a dress. <laughs> He's a Jedi. Richie is a Jedi. Now I'd have to say another feature I'm very impressed with is the fact that it has a full electric lighting system. And of course it's an electric bike, so why wouldn't it? Well, that's what my first question would be, but they don't all have them. In fact, our last ones didn't have them, and those were premium bikes. For safety, it has a headlight illumination, it has a rear light, it has a brake light, and it has left turn signals and right turn signals. Excellent. So again, two thumbs up to add motor for that. The battery is right here and it's removable, so we take that back to the boat at night and recharge it there from the boat's electrical system that recharges from the solar panels all day long. So we are effectively running this bike for 100% solar power. The battery turns on, it has a little switch right at the top, so you switch that on, and then your power switch for the bike is right here on the left handle. Then the computer boots up, and the computer is very readable, even in daylight. It's got a great screen, you can see everything. And you can see we've already put 455 kilometers on the bike. So over here are your controls for the lights. So there's your left turn signal, and it has a blinking signal on the computer. You hit it again to turn it off, and the right turning signal. It has a horn right here. And even if your battery goes dead, you've got a backup horn. Well, yeah, a bell. Over on this side, this is our power control, so this is where we drive the bike from right here. It has a rotation throttle. Now right here, this is my favorite feature. It's a switch that turns the power on and off to the throttle. And that's so that if we are sitting here and I'm just sitting at a stoplight or something like that and I take my hands off the bar, Richie always loves to play with everything at the helm. So if this is on and he hits that, we take off because the, the bike's gonna move. You can see it wants to go. So I switch that off and this becomes ineffective. So that's a very good feature, I really like that. It's using a Shimano shift system, so it's got a seven speed gear shifter right here, and the precision of the shift is very accurate. I mean, it just clicks right into each gear, no mess, no fuss, nothing. Good brakes, the feel of the brakes is good here. The only thing I wish that they would upgrade would be, uh-oh, what happened, buddy? <laughs> I wish they would upgrade these brakes. They're nice calipers, but they've just got cable brakes here and they're not nearly as effective as the other bikes that we've had that have hydraulic brakes. So it's something we really need to improve on there, guys, because this bike is heavy. I mean, it's over, a, it's about 100 pounds. So right about 100 pounds, but with three of us on it, you know, you're, you're talking about some weight to stop that bike. And these brakes just don't do a very fast job of that. It's more like just slowing down. There's no emergency stopping whatsoever. The brakes on our other bikes are much more effective. So if there was one change I'd like to see them make, it would be switch to hydraulic brakes. Same thing for the back. These are just not effective. Well, not as effective as they should be, put it that way. 
Now the only other complaint I've got with the bike is just the front suspension and I don't think it's an issue with the bike itself. I think it's just a mechanical issue with these particular shocks. I'm not sure if they're low in fluid or just weren't set up properly but there's a lot of friction in our front suspension system. So you see if I hold the brake and just push on the shocks, they're very rough. They're not smooth at all. Like the whole bike shakes whenever the shocks move. It just vibrates through the entire bike. They're not smooth, they don't pop up on their own. Ugh. There's just a lot of friction in the system and I'm not sure why. I've tried adjusting all the settings, but I wasn't able to improve anything. But yeah, that's the only issue with the bike that I haven't been able to solve, so I'm not sure what's causing it, but yeah, I would like to hear some suggestions from AdMotor if they have any ideas. Other than that, yeah, the bike is amazing. We love it so much, you can't even imagine. We never thought we'd be this impressed with a bike, <laughs> but it handles all three of us, no problem at all. And the mileage, I mean, that first run that we did, we got 45 kilometers out of it, and that was just at full throttle, just going around the island, no pedaling. So we weren't pedaling at all, we were just using it like a motorbike. The next trip we did around the island, or the next battery charge, we actually did it at about 25 kilometers an hour, which is more than fast enough for us, and sometimes I pedal a little bit to assist, just because I felt like it. And we got 75 kilometers, so a big difference in mileage. So yeah, I'm quite sure that if you really slowed down, if it wasn't three of us on there, you'd probably get close to 100 kilometers very easy, even at reasonable speed with limited pedaling. Because this isn't a bike that you buy for pedaling. It's not, you know, like a regular bicycle. It's more like a moped style motorcycle. And that's what you do. You just hold the throttle and go. And we love it. And <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, this bike gets a lot of attention on this island because as you know, this island is full of motorcycles, mopeds, scooters, bicycles, everything on two wheels. Predominantly about 80% of the population drives on two wheels here. So this bike, we get stopped all the time. Everybody looks at it and says, what is that? <laughs> And they're very impressed. They love it. I mean, I think they would do very good in Colombia with bikes like this because Colombia is very open-minded towards two wheels versus four. But they have the climate to support it, even on mainland. But having said all of that, the important thing is what does it mean to us? And yeah, all I can say is we give the bike two thumbs up. We really like this one and we will continue to enjoy it for as long as we're here. Whether we take it with us or not, I'm not sure. We could get it on the boat, just like I used to carry the motorcycle, and at least this is only 100 pounds instead of 350 pounds, so that's a big improvement. But we could put it up right beside the mast, just like we used to put the motorcycle and put a cover on it and just take it to our next destination. But really, it depends where we're going and what the roads are going to be like there, if there's going to be any reason to have it or not. So we'll decide that when the time comes. Until then, we enjoy it. And of course the favorite thing being a beach cruiser is the fact that we can take a perfectly sized cooler and inside the cooler bag not only do we have drinks and snacks for everybody, we've also got a drone. I've got my little Levada in there just in case we want to film from the air wherever we happen to be at the time. On top of that, our beach speaker, of course, got to have some tunes, right? So we can play the tunes while we're riding, it's amazing, and have music while we're at the beach if yeah. we want. And then we just put our bungee around it hold everything in so it doesn't bounce out while we're driving so thanks as always for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the review if you found it useful don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends and until next video we'll see you next time ciao for now
Oh oh. started so I know that's when I start okay. talking because I can't edit this one okay. I just want to move send it to him and I don't want him talking hey, blah, 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 a bunch of shit stop one two three action oh Richie look what we got boom 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 another box from Uncle Jersey Jeff wow wow Richie <laughs> yeah Richie likes the shipments too there's always something from Uncle Jersey oh what's that for yeah that's <sighs> Kiki got treats too, look. Wow, Kiki, you have some wow, cool. gift for you also. Look the at Kiki. Kiki. More food for Kiki. Yum. Wow. This is Kiki also. It's a big bag. Wow. Thank oh, you, Uncle Jersey. Thank you. I think so. Hey, Tiki is so thank you, Uncle happy. Jersey. Yeah, look at that, Tiki. Say thank you, Uncle Jersey. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get that hung up in her cage next, too. All right, mm -hmm. we got a bag. That's interesting. Oh, wow. wow. What okay, we Dennis. have there? Here. You stand here. Should we just have a look, Bridgie? Are you ready? Ready? Wow! Wow! Glow sticks. It's cool. full of toys. Yeah, all glow sticks and rings. Bracelets. Nice. Whoa! What's this, Richie? Wow! It's so cute. A pink flamingo ring. Cool. It's so cute. New water toy for Richie. Yeah. I think so today we go to test. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is more for mama than for Ricky. Ooh, another wow. water toy. A volleyball game. Oh wow, how many toys inside? Oh, I don't think that's for Richie. <laughs> oh no. I hope that's not for Richie. <laughs> I Daddy's don't think dead. so. That's got to be for mommy. Ooh. That chef's nice. Uh -huh. mm. Thank you so much, Josie. Wow. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks. Oh, pirate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You know us too well. <laughs> you know us too well, Jersey. We have a developer inside. Envelope. Oh, envelope. Envelope. Sorry. Envelopes. Envelopes. Okay. All right, let's see. This one says to Rick and Maddie. Right. Following the story over the last five years has been amazing. Seeing the two of you become a family of three is spectacular. Your future is boundless. Life will take you on the journey we all cherish watching. I will visit in the next 12 months. That's my goal. <laughs> Stay well, Jeff. On the road of life, it's not where you go, but who you're with that makes the difference. Happy belated anniversary. Warm regards, Jeff. Thank, Thank you, Zabby. So you're always so sweet and Always kindly. appreciated. Yeah. Bye, Thank you, sir. Bye. 